Hey everyone and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. On this video we're getting a gold medal on the mission, The Joys of Civilization. And this one can be started in three different locations here in San Denis. There, there, and there. We're going to the nearest one. Oh, my cores are actually in bad shape. I'll at least need my stamina core for this one, so I should do something about that. I will once I get there. Oops, wrong button. Kick in the air. Alright, here we are. And actually, before I forget, let's just get the stamina core up now. What do I have that will work? Can strawberries work? There we go, much better. Inquire about Bronte. I'm looking for a man called Bronte. Have you heard of him? Don't know who you're talking about. Okay, never mind. Okay, how about the bartender? Hey, friend, I I'm new in town. Supposed to be meeting a man called Angelo Bronte. Any idea where I might find him? Not in here, that's for sure. If he wants to drink anywhere, it would be the, the Bastille Saloon opposite the park with the Quincy Harris statue. Appreciate it. Just Thank you, sir. He's got quite the reputation. Quite the reputation, huh? Oh, and an autosave. Alright, so... We have a new marker on our map. We're gonna go to this saloon. And when we get there, the mission will officially begin. And once it begins, we have 5 minutes and 30 seconds to complete it for our gold medal. There's going to be one other objective as well. I'll cover that when we get to it. Look out! Alright, here we are. Stick him up, cowboy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here in nine. What you all looking at? Funny you should say that. <laughs> well, you know how it is. I told him, I say, that's the state of Le Moine for you. America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> that's why we love it. Born and raised. Mm. Well, I'm a transplant, but I'm never leaving. Not unless we all get washed away. <laughs> Every year they say that's gonna happen. It ain't happened yet. <laughs> but let me tell you something. The rest of the states, they lucky to have us. If it wasn't for us, they'd probably have run back to Britain with the tails between their legs at the first sign of trouble. You got that right. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Whiskey, sure. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, mister, if I ask you a question, you ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte? 
Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss, Big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so spoiled, you cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know I get. Oh, hey, friend, you'll be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. All right, look in the alley. Got it. Oh, stuck on that. Ah, stuck on that. Come on now, this sulking doesn't become you. Pardon me, but have you seen any kids around this way? Yeah, I think I heard a few in the other courtyard up ahead. You can get through on the left there. Thank you. So are you done with the silent treatment now? No. Hey. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. I tell you. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. You don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Here, come on. This away. Let's go, Mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, Mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Modeled on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, <laughs> you little pair of shits. Get going. He's coming after us. Stop, you shit. All right, we got to catch him for the gold medal, and he has my money. Bye, mister. <laughs> oh, yeah? I'm taking this horse. Let's go, horse. Yes, we did. He went around the corner there. Damn snitch! You better stop right now! Hey! Moron! Get back here, kid. Bye, mister! <laughs> Kick it down. Alright, so coming up, we can catch him. All right, so cut across oh, here. Like the goats got loose. Gotcha. You little bastard. I was just playing. Give me my things back. Get off me, mister. I'm a good boy. I wash. Give me my things. Mm, here. Bronte. At home. Where? Uh, big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Okay. Uh, welcome to Saint Denis, mister. It's quite a town. Get lost. All right, we got our money back, and we need to get back to Dutch, who is near the saloon. Ah, getting stuck on everything. All right, uh, let's see. Let's run up this street. And then we'll cut over. Not sure if this was the best decision for how to get there 
But I'm sticking to it. Uh, no, actually, this, this will work out pretty well. I can turn to the left up here. Arthur, over here. Hello, Dutch. Where have you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire. Anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently he lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I cannot decide which I like less, the swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. And look at that, we got the gold medal. Uh, buenos dias. Buenos dias. All right, so let's go to progress. Story, chapter four. Actually, have I read that before? I might not have. Chapter four, things ended poorly in Rhodes. The Pinkerton showed up again and little Jack Marston was kidnapped. The joys of civilization. Having just arrived in San Denis, Dutch and Arthur ask around the Bastille Saloon for information on Angelo Bronte. Wait, what? Oh no, I don't want to replay. Uh, do you want to continue? No. I hit the wrong button. I wanted to toggle the checklist. So, we caught the street urchin before he reaches the market. And we completed the mission within 5 minutes and 30 seconds. Alright, so where are we? Oh, and apparently I'm hot. Health core will drain faster. Uh, let's see. There is... Let's call it an event. That happens around there. Let's go see if it's up. Out of the way. I don't know why you're hot, Arthur. You're just wearing ridiculous that. clothes made of animal pelts. No big deal. Well, apparently that event is not up. Hmm, is there anything else I want to do? No, I think we're good for now. So you can see we have some things that are available now. We have some stranger missions. One there. One there. And one up here. And on top of that, we have our main mission over here. All right. Well, we are going to wrap things up right here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.